Aaron Mann, Paul McLaughlin, Maria Bella, producer Allison Black, director Keith Burnett. We have some other guests too. Yeah, we're gonna bring out some of the the crew, some of the heads of the department. So why don't you guys all just mosey out? This is Michael Brook. He did the music. Uh, Sandra Carrera is our editor. Melissa Schwartz is our costume designer. Joshua McKenzie is our art, uh, produ production designer. Guy Godfrey, director of photography. Oh, this is some of our other cast. I'm going to start at the end here. Carson McCormick, Evan Marsh, Haley Kittle, me, Wilson, I knew that, and Kiana Madeira. I was really scared I was going to screw that up. Anyways, well, thanks everybody. This is the people who made this film. Does anyone maybe have a question? <laughs> or? Question was, how did the film get started? Okay, the quick answer is, I was talking to a friend of mine about five years ago. Um, if you may recall, there was uh, about four kids who committed suicide who were gay or thought to be gay and they were harassed at school and uh, it was just before the It Gets Better movement and we were just talking about this horrible situation and he suggested we make a movie about it and I didn't feel like I wanted to make a movie about uh, some young person who kills himself but uh, that night I went, had, a, had a dream and I, in this dream I heard a voice, a young man uh, talking to his mother in the kitchen and um, the next morning I wrote that down and it, it just kept coming and I kept writing and after a while I realized that there was a film that was trying to emerge uh, and then I just you know, kept making some notes and then I realized it was a worthwhile thing to do. At that po point in my life I wasn't sure to ever make another film because it just I wasn't feeling compelled to but then I was now suddenly feeling there was something meaningful to do so I kept writing and met up with Alison Black a little not long after that and um, we decided we would make the film together and we talked about it and envisioned the kind of film we wanted to make and we started and did it. That's just, wait, anybody in the balcony got a question? No? Anybody down here? No questions, no questions at all, okay. Uh, there we go, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, in the hat. She was particularly impressed with the young cast. They were embodied teenagers really well, and she wanted to know why, why you chose to shoot it in Sault Ste. Marie. Well, when we were developing the film and writing the film, um, one thing I knew I really wanted to have was I wanted to have a lot of uh, life and vitality and a lot of greenery and a lot of sense of sort of wonder and, and beauty of the world and life and energy. So, uh, you know, Sault Ste. Marie has all these amazing tree-lined streets, and it was a really important part of the film. Um, and the other part of the film is it just is, uh, you know, they offer um, incentives to, to shoot up there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. 
the hour and get into the meat of it. No, really, I want them to know it's a green ring. Um, so I got, we got both. Um, so, you know, it's a very supportive program and it, it's, it's fantastic, you know, it really helps films get made. So I have a lot of gratitude to those people. You guys have shot a lot of films in Sault Ste. Marie, though, right? Yeah, right? Lindsay's microphone's just appear. Yeah, this is my third film in Sault Ste. Marie, actually. If anyone here is from Sault Ste. Marie, show it. <laughs> I'm blanking on the cheese shop. Maria and I this are known as... There's a great cheese shop in Sault Ste. Marie. There's a great cheese shop, guys, if you want to go. And that amazing you know, um, extras. But Sault Ste. Marie is amazing because it's such a welcoming community. But, you know, Keith and I also really wanted to do is make this film feel like... Um, People can really recognize a community or a city or a small city. It's not necessarily, you know, the extraordinary metropolis of Toronto where these things are going on. I just wanted people to feel like it was recognizable. And that was one of our choices for Sault Ste. Marie, for sure. Um, but we really wanted to make it feel like, one of the things that's most important to me is making a production feel like a family environment. And Sault Ste. Marie feels like family, but they also just roll out the carpet for us and just make everybody feel at home. And, um, and that makes a difference in what you see on screen. So, yeah, I think we really want to thank the financiers who helped incentivize that, but I just really want to, you know, say that's what it's about. Because if you see good energy on this screen, it's because of all the good energy here and how everyone felt when we were shooting it. So, thank you to everybody. <laughs> Gentlemen said the film was fantastic. Anybody want to know what was the uh, biggest challenge or obstacle making the film? Hiding the bike, maybe. Hiding the bike, yeah. <laughs> it's um, a lot of bike know, riding. I don't yeah. know. There's there's so many uh, big challenges in making a film. It just takes such uh, an amount of faith and perseverance, uh, you know. And to you know, we spent years developing it, years working on getting the money. And Allison worked so, so hard uh, to make Well, hang on a second. I just want to say, actually, we spent, we did spend years developing the script because we really wanted to make it right so that we, you know, we tested it with high school students, we tested it on every age group, and so many people just to make sure it was right. And then when it was right, it was actually very fast to get the money. So I actually don't, I don't want to just, okay. brother, I want to correct you there. Producing is way easier than you think. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that hard. Because they um, responded to the script and, and the vision for it, so that's all I want to say. So I don't know, I, I can't say what the biggest challenge was, there's lots of big challenges, um, but uh, there was a lot of um, support and a lot of, um, you know, goodwill, I think, because people really thought it was meaningful and worthwhile making. What's your question? <laughs> so you oh, okay, thanks. Uh, my question's actually Good job. Uh, for the actors, and I'm really curious because this is a super complex uh, film, and to actually offer that kind of role for younger actors, what would you say is the most challenging scene for you guys to film? The uh, question was for the actors, and what was the, uh, the uh, toughest scene you guys had to film? I think, uh, I think Darren will probably say the same thing, the, uh, the, the scene with me and him at the, at the gas station. So it's really kind of the the culmination of all the of all the problems they've encountered, and it's so heartbreaking because it's you see at the beginning how close they are and how much fun they have together, and then when it comes to that point, and it just it just makes it hurt that much more physically and emotionally. <laughs> uh, so that was a really powerful scene and really powerful to to be able to, to portray that that dynamic. But I mean, there's there's so many. Yeah, I mean uh, that. That scene at the gas station was definitely the most challenging, is one word to say, but it was also, um, thanks to Keith's great writing, it was also a lot of fun to play because there was so much there for me to work with and layers between what I'm dealing with with my friends and where I stand within my social circle, but also I love him so much. So it was challenging, but it was also really fun to shoot as well. So, yeah. Probably yeah. the swimming was the hardest for me. <laughs> Actually. Um, I, I, um, I found the scene where we were at the gate the hardest because I, I, have, I found this major connection to Natasha as we were going along and Keith and I uncovered some stuff that I had buried in my own personal teen years that sort of came up and um, 
I, I came to terms and learned to understand and, and cope with some damage that I buried, but um, it's it also beautiful at the same time. The lady's proud to be a Canadian after this film. <laughs> uh, was very impressed with the authenticity of the film, and she wanted to know if you guys had any, was there a connection that, with, the, with other people or the characters that made it easier for you? A personal connection? Uh, I mean, I've never experienced, you know, something of, of that magnitude with, with Bouse, but I mean, I think everyone growing up has experienced some sort of, of homophobia or teasing about you know someone that that might be gay at school and I think that, that that's what this film is, is so great at is that it can reach so many people and uh, it just has so much to say about about not only that but just navigating high school you know because I mean that's hard enough in and of itself without you know all that business going on but um, and actually the film has so many things to say about the fluidity of you know of sexuality and, and love and, and how abstract it can be and I think Anyone, anywhere can kind of relate to that and find that, you know, somewhere in themselves. I, 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 um, I know we talked a lot about the, the younger characters, but I thought that the, the, the uh, father and mother were also exceptional. <laughs> It felt very real to me too. Do you guys want to talk about how you approach the roles? That uh, the the speech at the end was particularly, I think, uh, compelling. That Kyle gave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I was I was blessed with some pretty amazing writing, um, and also working with an extraordinarily talented actor. Um, and so much of what we do is a, is really based on and actually. Um, uh, imperative that you have someone that you're working with that is uh, able to look you in the eyes and give you the, the feelings and sensations that you need uh, to do what you need to do. And uh, I just had to look at Josh and uh, the reality was there and that uh, everything just kind of tumbled up. So, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Do you want to talk about how you approach the world? Um, beautiful, and I'll agree with everything that you've said there. But I also want to say I'm the mother of a 17-year-old, <laughs> and I was just um, just saying to you backstage. I say to my son sometimes, Jack, I get it when we're having an issue. I know you've never been a teenager before, but I've never been the parent of a teenager. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let's figure out what to do here. <laughs> so, so I felt like that's the best tack that I can take. Um, and so I, I brought that to the mother in the film, that sensibility of like, all right, I certainly didn't have it all figured out because none of us do. And, but to see your, all of you, your real bravery to be present and connected and to um, feel free. My, kids my age, in, in my generation, in our generation, would not be standing up here so freely talking about the subject matter. And I applaud you all for doing this and for your whole generation, thank you. Right there.
Was there a particular scene or line that really spoke to you guys when you were first reading the script, or just in general? Anybody? Uh, I mean, one of Kyle's lines that I think resonated with me, both as Frankie and as a watcher, is it sounds like you just had a sexual experience with somebody that you really loved. And it was... And at the time, you know, Frankie's just kind of blown away by the simplicity of it all, you know? And I think it just delivers it in such, such an efficient and such a, yeah, nuanced way that it's, it's really impressive. I, I was hoping someone would pick one of Mouse's lines. Uh, <laughs> which one? Where did the... Uh, Down with the uh, development of the uh, um, accoutrements. Uh, uh, how, did, how did that sort of come about? How it happened. Uh, I want to give it to you. <laughs> um, sorry, could you repeat that? Really? Uh, I, I just want to know how the uh, the sock thing developed. And um, that, uh, so where it came from. Or... Uh, okay. <laughs> um, my mom was saying this to Keith earlier, but like when I first auditioned for it, that um, that scene between me and Frankie on the porch was what I auditioned with. Um, and obviously in it, she's like, yeah, I'm wearing a sock cock. It's a tube sock wrecked in elastics. Um, and my mom kind of teased me mercilessly for it, um, uh, just cause like, I was clearly like uncomfortable channeling this like character that I didn't really have any like firsthand experience with. And she tried to like kind of normalize it for me so that I could be able to like be this character. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was it was kind of like an on running like point of like a serious joke on set because we're all going like 